everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced an event that's related to the launch of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which will be next week. Starting on November 16th and ending on November 21st, which is also Shink's Community Day. And you'll be able to catch Turtwig, Chimchar, and Pinplump wearing either Lucas or Dawn's hats. And they will be available as shinies for parts one and two, but the Pokemon for part one, which will be Brilliant Diamond, that will be available in the wild as shinies, besides the Sinnoh starters, will be Seal, Murkrow, Poochiana, Aeron, Bidoof, Krikertot, and Beninary, as well as Stunky. Well, Stunky will not be available as a shiny. Excuse me there. But of course, you'll also be able to catch Scyther, Larvitar, Burmy with the Plant clo Cloak, and Buzzle. And appearing in raids will be Cranidos, Drifloom, Bronzor, and Gibble for level one, three, yeah, one star raid. For three star raids, level three and four, Tyranitar, Lopany, Drapion, Toxcroak, and Gallade. And for five star raids, Cresselia. And of course, you'll be able to catch Cresselia as a shiny if you are lucky. The same goes for Mega Lopany, which will also be in Mega Raids. As for the 7K Pokemon, you'll be able to get Buddu, Bonsly, Happiny, Mime Jr., and Raleo. And of course, this is also a great opportunity to catch Mine Jr. if you didn't get the chance to, or you didn't go to France to find a Mine Jr. egg. Here's your chance. Field Research Rewards will give you the, the, the Sinnoh starters wearing Dawn's hat, as well as Burmy wearing the Sandy Cloak, Bagon. And Burmy wearing the trash cloak, and of course, Shield on. For part two, Shining Pearl, you'll be getting Pinsir, Mistrevious, Houndoom, the Sinnoh starters wearing Dawn's hat, Badoof, Krikertot, Beninary, and Glalmeow, which some of these Pokemon are also in part one, Brilliant Diamond. But you'll also be able to catch Slowpoke, Bagon, Buzzle, and Burmese Sandy Cloak as Shinies. The only Pokemon in Part 2 that will not be available as, as a Shiny is Sweel, which of course, that Hoenn Pokemon has, as of this recording, has yet to be available as a Shiny. And some of the Pokemon I mentioned in Part 1 will also be available as level 1, level 2, 1 star eggs, including Shieldon, Drifloom, and of course Bronzor. For the 3, 4 star raids, levels 3 and 4 raids, you'll get Salamence, which of course you won't be able to get that as a shiny, but you'll get Lopany as a shiny. You won't get Drapion as a shiny. And same thing with Toxcroak or Gallade, which are also carryovers from part 1. And Cresselia, and Mega Lopney will be in 5 star and Mega Raid as well. And the, the list of 7k eggs are the same as in part 1. Buddu, Bonsley, Hapney, Bime Jr., and Raleo. And of course, you'll be able to get the Sinnoh starters wearing Lucas's hat as field research rewards, and Burmy wearing the plant and trash co cloaks, and they. These five will also be available as shinies, and the same with Larvitar and Craniados. 
and of course Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch comes out next Friday November 19th and I can't wait until I get these two games myself for Christmas and other Pokemon news the finale for for Misunderstood Mischief is now available and it involves Team Go Rocket and Shadow Lugia and if you were expecting Shadow Lugia to be based on its appearance from Pokemon Gale of Darkness XD you're in for a disappointment it's just normal Lugia with the Shadow Aura instead of the, the design for Shadow Lugia as it appeared in Gale of Darkness XD, which of course Niantic might have had a reason because it would have been too much to modify the existing Lugia model and make it a, sh a shadow. And of course you get this by defeating Giovanni and if you are at level 44 like myself and you have to defeat 100 Rocket Grunts and purify 100 Shadow Pokemon Here's your chance, and if you are trying to defeat the Rocket Leaders 50 times, here you go. And if you're also trying to complete your Hero Medal, whether you are stuck at Bronze, Silver, Gold, and trying to get to Platinum, this event is also good for this opportunity. By the time this video is released, this event will be over. But of course, Rocket Grunts and Balloons were frequently spawning all over the map and they still will be but of course not as frequent as it, they were during the event. One more thing, I will be live streaming again tomorrow, Saturday 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch, Mega Man X2 and of course speaking of live streaming, I'll also be streaming Shinx Community Day on Sunday, November 21st, 2021, in addition to making the video for Shinx Community Day, as I'll be covering the shiny hunting of Shinx. Which, of course, whenever I catch extra shinies, they either go into my Switch games or I give away to other trainers who need them. One more, I mean, I meant to say one more thing. I will also be away next month at Walt Disney World, but no follow up video to the very first documentary. I'll just be mainly focusing on the trip because of what's going on in the world. Cannot do no scuba diving at Walt Disney World as of this recording. But of course, 2022 should be a better year where I'll be doing more diving and more videos based on my adventures. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, Wash your hands. Most importantly, get vaccinated. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times together. But we're not out of the woods just yet.